Hey guys, Vanna here. Um, as promised, I'm going to do some guitar practice sessions. I have entered myself for the Grade 1 Trinity College Classical Guitar. And um, I was actually supposed to play it last year, but I had such a full schedule with my students that I just get, didn't get to practicing and I wanted to do it properly. And it actually fell perfectly into the time frame with me now doing this YouTube thing uh, a little bit more seriously, taking it a little bit more seriously. So I hope this helps you. The three pieces that I'm going to play is for the exam is Chansonnet, The Spider, as well as Metamorphosis. Those were the three pieces that I found would really do well with me and, and my character and my personality and the way I play. Now, I am completely new to classical guitar. I've done my grade initial last year. I'm literally doing grade by grade by grade. So each grade I'll be doing, I'm going to post some practice sessions so that you can see and track my progress. And then I'm also going to talk a little bit about pieces. As I did study piano and piano was my main instrument, I've got a music degree. I'm literally learning this without a teacher. So it's quite a uh, enlightening experience to learn an instrument uh, without something teaching and just relying on my knowledge that I got from being a music student all those years back. So I hope this helps you. There will be commentary in between just to show you where I'm going wrong, what I think I'm doing wrong and uh, feel free to comment and leave some comments on what I can do better. It would be greatly appreciated, especially from all those real guitar players out there. I'm literally just an amateur guitarist. I do teach guitar as well, but I teach the basics. Uh, so I've done great initials. So I'm teaching great initial pieces to my students. I've done quite well with my first exam. I got 85%, uh, uh, which isn't bad. I missed uh, my distinction just because I didn't have the book with the technical study. Um, I didn't know there was a book, so um, uh, I didn't practice for it. I couldn't get hold of it, but it's one of those things. I didn't want to postpone the exam for later uh, during the year. So let's see how this go. I'm literally going to start with chansonnet today. So I'm in the nice classical position. I'm holding my guitar nice and close. My shoulder is relaxed, making sure that I'm not pulling up my shoulder. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem pressing down my fret lines. I'm not going to do scales. I'm just going to jump straight into playing my pieces. This is the second time I've been practicing, so I'm going to make a lot of mistakes still, but I already know the basics and the notes. So um, it's now literally just uh, remembering what to do and dynamics and so on. Let's try chansonnet then first. So starting on C. Repeat. Oops, missed, missed up there. There we go. And I like to just continue playing through uh, because uh, it is silly mistakes. I'm not going to restart. I'm not going to waste my time with that. I need to get to uh, commit these to memory. And I'm noticing I'm literally bending my finger like this. This means that I am uh, going to somewhere going to run into a problem here. My finger is going over the nut here as well. I don't think that's very, very good posture. Um, I'm trying to just uh, sort this out logically as I go along. So I'm just trying to relax my hand, let it hang when I play. Let's see if that helps. I'm going to start from the second section. So here we have a piano, uh, a piano with a crescendo. Oops, going on, oh no, still not, let's start again, there we go, piano again, ritenuto, and now a tempo forte. ritenuto. So I've noticed here that with this piece, there's a lot of dynamics, but also with the movements here, I'm going to have to be careful not to, to, uh, to do this, try, try and grab my strings like that. I don't think it's wrong, I'm not sure, but let's rather try to, to, to keep the same posture and moving the arm in line with the, fret, uh, the, with the fretboard. 
Maybe I'm trying to think too much in, in terms of piano. I don't know. Let's see. Let's try one more time. Whoops. Trying to keep the flow going. Now the piano crescendo part. Oops, I missed that. It's a new toe, a tempo forte. Okay, all right. So a little bit better. Um, I'm trying now to incorporate the forte, but I'm, I'm struggling because I'm thinking forte. How do we play forte on the guitar? Is it just plucking the string, the string louder? I don't want to have that twangy sound. Twang, twang that. A lot of my students does this because they, they try to, to literally rip the guitar apart, rip the strings from the guitar. And um, it's, a, it's a tricky thing to, to, to tell them to be gentle. But if you're too gentle, it's not going to be loud. It's going to be almost soft or too soft. So I'm going to have to try to get that sorted and do some research on that. Let's move on to the spider next. The spider, this is actually a, a nice one. It uses the six string as uh, the bass note and then we are going to have to move in between all four strings on the second string like this so i'm going to have to remember to keep my hand nice and wide and try to keep as close to the fret lines as possible otherwise i'm going to have trouble if i don't press it down hard enough i'm going to have um, a very uneven sound by the looks of this let's see if i can do this mezzo forte a lot of dynamics as well i'm probably going to get the dynamics wrong but let's just give it a go here comes the fourth finger. Oh, I got that one right. Excellent. And it comes again. Now one. Four again. Four again. Whoops, I missed that one. Natural. Three. Tricky one, this. So I'm noticing I'm missing this note. Um, and I think it's because my elbow is too high. I need to bring it a little bit more forward. Although there my shoulder hits. So I'm not sure if I should be doing this as well. This is tricky. Let's try one more time. Oh, I literally just uh, went on a hunch there. So I'm a little bit too far away. I need to keep it right there. Trying to visualize the movement as I do it. Ah, almost had it. So not too bad. I'm playing this way too fast because it's supposed to be mysteriously and with a uh, meter time of uh, 84 crotchets per minute. So it, it's supposed to be a lot more slower, but um, uh, if I do it too slow, uh, I think it's going to be a little bit too boring for me. So I am going to go down on limb and I'm going to try to play this a little bit faster for my exam as well and see and hope that I don't get penalized too much. Otherwise, it's going to be too slow for me. All right. Let's move on to my third piece, Metamorphosis. So this one is the longest of the two, but I really, really like the, uh, the melody and it introduces me to some new notes, the C sharp, as well as it starts with a minor. So it's got a sad part and then it literally turns into something else uh, at the end with a repeat as well. So literally being true to its title, Metamorphosis. Right. Oh, nope. Okay, and this one uses a lot more bass notes as well. So I'm going to have to really, really focus 
Just trying to get this one through without being irritating. No, let's try again. No, they had that one. Okay, cool. C sharp. So far, not too bad. Now it gets tricky because now I need to move one to G and G. Ah, E. Okay, so let's isolate that quickly. I want to get this one right. That was bad fingering, hey? Let's try one more time. No, wrong one. No. Am I supposed to use my second finger then? No, my third finger. Come on. No. Horrible. No. Because, of course, G. Now, that's it, third finger, that's it. Three, E. Now the change in key, F sharp, C sharp. Now the repeat. D. Okay, good. I'm breaking in between my notes too much. It's not really legato. I'm struggling with legato because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the notes and which notes I should play. So bear with me. It will get better, I suppose, as we go along. But this one is quite tricky because it's a long one. And, uh, but I don't think it was too bad. I don't think I didn't went too bad. Let's see if I can remember this part that I isolated. Oh, no. No. Shoulder. That wasn't too bad. Repeat. Oh, that was terrible. Change. Okay, yeah, that was for repeat. Let's just finish off. Bam, bam. So I've got a really, really, really big newfound respect for classical guitarist. Um, it's not an easy, easy instrument to play. It looks quite easy, but uh, uh, no, no, no. If you've been playing piano for such a long time and now you want to do a new instrument, my friends as well, they, they, they said that um, uh, you're literally digging yourself a hole. It's tricky. There's supposed to be some advantages of playing guitar if, you, if you're a pianist because of the way you hold your fingers and the movement, etc. And you've got quick fingers. There's a lot of finger flexibility. So I'm hoping that in the next grade or the higher grades, those will definitely come into play and uh, work towards my, my advantage. But we're going to have to see. Thanks so much for watching. And remember to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I've recently done some Hannon and some new Cherny. So go and check that out. And can't wait to share the progress again with you guys in one week. Bye for now.